Hey Raw folks, it's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of Raw news and analysis. But before we get started, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. And also, of course, remember to press that all-important bell icon. Thanks so much. The Junior Royals had a ball at this weekend's coronation and were in serious danger of stealing the show. But Archie and Lilibet were made to stay home in the US. In years to come, one could forgive them for feeling cheated, writes Angela Epstein. Parents often talk about making memories for their children, and given the breathtaking events of the last 48 hours, Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis are already likely to have bagged enough to last a lifetime. From ringside seats at Westminster Abbey and bobbing along in the post-ceremony family carriage, ride to joining their newly crowned grandpa on the balcony at Buckingham Palace, these young royals will in the words of Take That, never forget this momentous coronation weekend, and it's likely many of us will never forget their delightful place in the coronation either, thanks to those lingering snapshot moments of Kate's cuties. Whether it was an astonishingly regal Prince George carrying his grandfather's train down the Isle of Abbey, or the increasingly self-possessed Princess Charlotte, stunning on Saturday in Alexander McQueen white gowns, cape and headpieces, proving herself to be a wonderfully respectful responsible big sister to her playful little brother by holding Louis's hand as they followed their parents into the abbey. Of course, the youngest whales charmed the pants off us all too, cute as a button in tunic, collar and cuffs, and save for a bit of yawning and fidgeting, the five-year-old was decorum itself during his truncated appearance at the abbey, for which were later rewarded with his uproarious trademark face scrunchies on the balcony of Buckingham Palace, telegraphing to the planet that in Louis world, protocol is an option, not a rule. Memories then to share all around, but there are of course those who are unlikely to make such memories now are in the future, even though they are close blood relations to the king. For since they quit the royal family, Harry, notwithstanding a breathless 24 hours in the UK and wife Meghan have effectively denied their children a chance to connect with their heritage. And given the global talking point of the coronation when Archie and Lilibet one day down the corridor of the years, the Sussex children may well wonder why they weren't able to be part of this family. One day, they may watch footage of their cousin, Princess Charlotte, who, on spotting her father, Prince William, making his way across the platform to give his speech at the coronation concert, delightedly declared, look, there's Papa. And they may wonder why they were no longer part of this family. Of course, it will all be there for them to read in spare. Or watch, thank you, Oprah and Netflix. But even if such platforms have offered their parents opportunities to make a plausible case for separating themselves and their children from royal life, events like the coronation will endure as a reminder to Archie and Lilibet of a birthright which they surrendered without choice. How will they feel as they look back at the excited faces of their royal cousins, wide-eyed, and the red arrows as they plumed and soared over Buckingham Palace? On the other side, whatever the future holds for the Sussexes, they may also rule the day when their inquisitive children wonder why they were kept away from not only the once-in-a-lifetime experience, but from a family which belongs as much to them as their three little cousins, who are happily embedded in their heritage. Archie and Lilibet remain separated from them, not only by the vast Atlantic, but by a world even greater than that. So what do you guys think about the news? Let us know in the comments, and we'll see you next time for more raw news and analysis.